In this video, I'm going to explain the nitration of aromatic compounds by electrophilic aromatic substitution. This reaction is an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction in which a proton on the aromatic ring is replaced by an electrophilic group, in this case, the nitronium ion. In this example, benzene is treated with a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid, and this results in an aromatic ring with a nitrosubstituent in other words, nitrobenzene, and also the byproduct water. Now I'm going to explain the mechanism of this reaction. It consists of three steps. Step one is the generation of the key electrophile, the nitronium ion. Step two is the electrophilic attack, which is the rate determining step. And step three is deprotonation to yield the final product. <clears throat> now I'm going to look at each step in greater detail. In step one, sulfuric acid protonates nitric acid to produce hydrogen sulfate and protonated nitric acid. This protonated nitric acid undergoes dissociation to produce water and the nitronium ion, which is the key electrophile. In step two, the pi electrons of the aromatic ring will attack the electrophile to produce the arenium ion, which is non-aromatic, yet resonance stabilized. As shown in the hybrid drawing, this positive charge is actually delocalized around the ring. In the final step, the arenium ion is deprotonated by a base, in this case water, to regenerate aromaticity and to yield the final nitrated product and the hydronium ion as a byproduct. In the previous example, the starting material lacked pre-existing substituents. Now let's look at electrophilic aromatic substitution on an aromatic compound that contains a pre-installed substituent. In this case, trifluoromethylbenzene undergoes nitration to produce the major product, which is the meta-substituted isomer, and the minor products, which are the ortho and para-substituted isomers. Let's see why, for trifluoromethylbenzene, the meta-substituted isomer will ultimately be the major product, while the ortho and para-substituted isomers will ultimately be the minor products. To understand this, let's look at when the nitronium ion attacks the position ortho to the trifluoromethyl group. This results in an arenium ion where the positive charge is ortho para and ortho to the newly installed nitro group. However, when the positive charge is adjacent to the electron withdrawing trifluoromethyl group, this resonance structure is destabilized. Therefore, the arenium ion intermediate is destabilized. As a result, the rate of production of this intermediate is relatively slow. When the nitronium ion attacks the position that is para to the trifluoromethyl group, it results in an arenium ion where the positive charge is ortho, para, and ortho to the newly installed nitro group. As in the ortho case, when the positive charge is adjacent to electron withdrawing trifluoromethyl group, this resonance structure is destabilized, and therefore the arenium ion intermediate is destabilized, and the rate of production of this intermediate is relatively slow. Lastly, when the nitronium ion attacks the position meta to the trifluoromethyl group, it results in an arenium ion intermediate where the positive charge is ortho, para, and ortho to the newly installed nitro substituent. In contrast to the previous cases, None of these resonance structures contain a positive charge that is adjacent to the electron withdrawing trifluoromethyl group. Therefore, none of these resonance structures are destabilized, and thus the rhenium ion intermediate is more stable and formed at a faster rate. Because electrophilic attack is the overall rate limiting step, and since the meta substituted rhenium ion intermediate accumulates at a faster rate, it ultimately leads to the formation of the major product, which is the meta-substituted product. 
In the previous example, we looked at electrophilic aromatic substitution on an aromatic ring that contained an electron withdrawing group. Now let's look at electrophilic aromatic substitution on an aromatic ring that contains an electron donating group. In this case, the electron donating methoxy group will direct the incoming electrophile to the ortho and para positions, such that the ortho and para isomers are the major products, while the meta substituted isomer is the minor product. The product distribution in this case can be rationalized in a similar manner to the way that we rationalized the product distribution in the previous example. That is, the ortho and para substituted iridium ion intermediates that lead to these products are stabilized, while the meta substituted iridium ion intermediate that leads to this product is destabilized. Another important point that needs to be understood is that most ortho para directors, such as this methoxy group, are activating groups. By activating groups, we mean substituents that render electrophilic aromatic substitution on substituted aromatic compounds faster than on unsubstituted aromatic compounds. In contrast, all meta directors, such as the trifluoromethyl group that I discussed previously, are deactivating groups. Aromatic compounds substituted with deactivating groups react slower in electrophilic aromatic substitution than unsubstituted aromatic compounds. In conclusion, the nitration of aromatic compounds by electrophilic aromatic substitution allows the replacement of a hydrogen atom substituent with a nitro group. The general concepts that I have discussed here can be applied to other electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions.